Hi there everyone, I'm Bren and welcome back to my gardening channel. I noticed this week that I had a few new um, subscribers so I thought it might be a good opportunity to introduce myself again very briefly and just let you know a bit about myself. So he might have picked up on, I do have an Irish accent, I was born in Ireland but I now live in Australia. Um, so I live in a small country town about one hour's drive outside of Sydney, Australia um, with my young family and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a cottage garden, the type of garden that um, I used to see all the time when I used to be a younger girl back in Dublin, Ireland. Um, so um, the aim of this YouTube channel is I want to post on a weekly basis kind of like a bit like a diary so I give you a bit of a garden update I do some harvests and I just kind of show you in general what's going on so in this week's video and um, what I'll be doing is I'll be harvesting some granny smith apples some cucumber melons also have a general look around the garden and I am starting to save some seeds because we're in the last few days here of summer and um, so I'll be saving some flower seeds and some bean seeds so I'll um, just say to you now just sit back and relax for a few minutes and I'll show you around. I have everything here that I need for today's um, video. I've got a little basket for any harvests and um, I've also got a few ba paper bags there to collect some seeds, the pen to write what the seed names are and scissors um, because I can't find where I put my secateurs which is typical of me but um, first of all we're going to start off here with this vine and we'll have a look and see um, some cute little things that have been growing on it. Up until maybe seven or eight months ago I didn't even know that these existed. These little things here are called, whoops I just dropped that one, there's another one here. These are called cucumelons. They look like teeny tiny little watermelons. Can't even get focus right on them. Um, these taste like a cucumber, I would say, um, with a slight um, citrusy flavor. Um, and I've put a few finds in the garden. So there's one here, um, and then over in this area behind the lime tree, um, there is about three more vines and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to harvest a whole load of these. Bitten this one in half so you can have a look at it inside. Um, packed full of seeds so I'll definitely be saving some of those seeds but not quite yet. Um, and they do have other names. They're also called um, Mexican sour gherkins. Um, they originate from Mexico and the one thing I really love about these is that they are drought tolerant once established and in the Australian climate that I live in that's exactly the type of edibles that I want to grow in my garden. So the other vines are just over here. Oh you can see there's some vines there and they're intermingling with other vines like there's another um, grandma pumpkin and over here these are little gourds and in between you have all the little tiny little cucumelons. I can see a few here so I'll pick them off. So look what the vine's been doing. Um, I have heard that they can get really, really um, prolific. So the vine is starting to make its way away from the trellis and moving over here and attaching itself to the, um, um, the lime tree. So there you have a developing lime. Look at this little guy latching on. So I'm now inside the um, chicken run area. This is the other side of the fence. There's those gourds I'd shown you before. They've made their way from this arbor here where I can see the vine is starting to die off. And they're there. Chickens! They actually, so this is, all this is here is a bit of chicken wire and they haven't figured out how to fly over it but this week 
I saw them, two of them in the main garden area and they were having an absolute ball. Like little rebels, I think. But they do have a massive area here. There's three of them. This is their chicken run area. Hello. What you doing, Sparky? What you up to? That one there is a bit broody at the moment. And I'm over here. This is um, Bright Lights Cosmos. You can see there's a nice bee there. And I'm here to collect some of these seeds. So this is what the seeds look like. And you know what? I'm only an amateur gardener and I'm no expert on seed saving and collecting, but this is just what I do. So I wait until um, it hasn't rained for a few days, which is very common here. And um, I just let the, the seeds dry out on the plant. And then I just come with my paper bag and I just go and I just gently brush these off and there you go so I'll put them in the brown paper bag I'll mark their name and I'll have some seeds for next year so usually in my area um, I can let the cosmos continue to flower right into the end of autumn because we don't get our frost until probably our first frost in around June-ish um, so if you just keep on deading heading the flowers before you go to seed this plant will continue to bloom however um, I mentioned in last week's video that I'm starting to plan my garden now for um, next spring and putting all my autumn vegetables and flowers in the garden and doing all my propagating and this area here I've planned to put a whole section here of calendula so yeah i don't like it um but i do have this plant flowering in other parts of the garden so um i mean it's just a sacrifice that has to be made i need to think ahead for the coming months so the next area i'm going to head off to is where we have our um apple trees we've got two apple trees and some of the granny smith apples are ready to harvest so i'm gonna head over there now Okay, so on my way over to um, the um, apple trees to harvest some apples, I wanted to um, collect some more seeds, which I'll show you now. There's some nice nasturtiums, um, but the seeds I want to collect are over this way. So here we have a bit of a marigold patch here, and these are the seeds that I want to start saving now. Um, so I'm going to have a look and see. Oh, is that one there that one there probably leave that a bit longer but you see the way the flowers are starting to die off and the base of the flower if I can take this off now has started to brown that's the exactly the type of um, flower head that I'm looking for to collect the seeds so what I want to do is I just want to brush off the dead flowers petals on top it's a bit tricky to do with this with one hand so what I'll do is I'll cut this open oh maybe I can do it see there see all of those coming out there they are all the marigold seeds so I'm gonna pop all of them in a paper bag as well so over here this is where we have our two apple trees that my dad bought for us when my first child was born and today I'm gonna to be harvesting from this tree here this one is a granny smith and yes I know I haven't pruned it look at it it's just um, I'm really that's one of my goals this winter is to prune this property because there's so much growth on top I mean I can't protect the apples from the fruit flies up there and um, at least I can share it with the native wildlife and birds and um, but yes that's why all the apples are all bagged up here and let's go and have a look and see if there's some ready to harvest just taking this bag off and in there I have an apple oh look at that a nice homegrown organic granny smith apple okay we'll open this one up and have a look okay there's a little mark there but you know that does not bother me at all um oh, there's another little blemish um i hope the fruit fly didn't get to these before i bag them up 
Um, look at this one. I'll cut this one open a bit later and have a look. But I mean, even if there is a bit of damage there, there's still quite a lot of the apple that I can eat there. Um, yep, yeah. looks good to me. So just for the purpose of showing you how these work, um, I've just torn this one open, but with the others I will reuse them. So what I do is I just wrap up a whole branch that has a few apples on it when they're starting, they've just um, started to form. And um, I've got three in here. And um, as you can see, this one looks pretty, pretty good, <laughs> except for that there. But um, uh, I think it should be fine. I mean, that's what you have to expect with organic gardening. Things are not going to look absolutely perfect. This one I just found, it was at the bottom of the bag. It's massive. I can't believe how big that is. I think that's definitely going to be the one I try first. Another super easy edible to save seeds is beans. I mean, if you're starting off, this is a great way to start. All you have to do is let the bean pods dry on the plant. And then when they've gone turned brown, you just harvest them. And there you go. That's it. Just put, well, so open this up, take the beans out and put them in a, in a bag and label them for next year. And these ones here are called snake beans in case anyone's wondering. Um, I love the look of these, the way they dangle off the trestle. But as you can see, I've let most of them go over now because these are well past the edible stage. I'm probably going to wrap the video up for today. I have quite a bit of stuff to do. Um, um, so I hope you enjoyed this week's um, garden update of what I've been up to. Um, as you can see here, I have filled up I've cleared out a lot of these beds here and I filled them up with um, compost. I actually had to order some in because um, because these are all new beds. I just didn't have enough homemade compost to fill them up and they had dropped quite a lot. You can even see there, I probably could do with a bit more. Enjoying this area at the moment. Yes, it looks a bit overgrown. You have the grass here growing through it, but there's a nice selection of different plants. You've got some marigolds, cosmos there, and this is holy basil. Then over here, you've got tansy, more um, marigolds, and then I have a few different types of um, eggplants there. I've actually this week just put up a post about eggplants um that you might find interesting it's on my instagram account called gg the garden girl if you want to go and check that out um, but until next week thank you for watching and happy gardening